Hey everybody, it's Jero here. You know, we've made a lot of wildly stupid videos over the past year, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to slap together some of the funniest moments from each of them into a single video that truly embodies everything that this hilariously tragic catastrophe of a channel is. I hope you enjoy it. At the very least, more than a hole in the head. So yeah, I've been in Italy for a little while. I uh, originally came here just to get myself a gelato and well, I ended up staying and uh, <laughs> I ate everything. Oh man, I can't even see my dick anymore. Oh, seems like a story mission is taking place right here. Oh, I have an idea. I am going to come here and give this lady a whole bunch of rubber duckies. <laughs> Because for some reason, I've got a hundred of them in my inventory. I don't know where they all came from. Don't ask so many questions. Gosh, done it. I'm curious to see. Oh, she's, <laughs> she's picking one up. Oh, I crashed the game. <laughs> so I'm going to try it all over again, except this time around, instead of dropping like 70 rubber duckies, I guess I'll drop like, I don't know, 20? I'll get nice and far away so I could witness the destruction. And uh, three, two, one. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what just what just happened? That was that was easily the greatest team rocket blasting off again moment since the original series of Pokemon. Now we'll just run over here so we've got a nice unobstructed view of the uh the space launch in 321. <laughs> I think we sent it to the sun on accident. Are we in danger? Well, you know, <laughs> that depends. What is danger? That's kind of a relative term, isn't it? <laughs> She broke the window. Oh, gosh. All right, let's give this another go. Oh. <laughs> and now for my final trick. Uh, I'm going to come over here and resuscitate this dead man. Observe. So we'll just place a couple down. We don't want to put too many, just a few. Now, uh, let's just get far enough away back so we don't blow ourselves up in the process. And uh, <clears throat> three, two, one. Now, I've come back to see my best friend, uh, Mrs. Waiter Lady, and I'm just going to give her a whole bunch of golf balls because I heard that she really, really likes golf. Here we go. Let's just lob it right over there, right onto the other golf balls, and booyah! <laughs> what? We killed a guy in the balcony. <laughs> I feel like I'm laying eggs from my palm. And uh, all we got to hope for now is that when Silvio returns, he doesn't notice. That's, that's the, that's the key. All right, looks like Sylvia's coming back. Nothing sus, Sylvia. Definitely not a hundred golf balls on your tee. <laughs> he hasn't noticed. What a flippin' dumb, dumb, stupid head. He's looking at the balls, he's like, <laughs> which one do I choose? The answer to that, Sylvia, is any of them. <laughs> Target down. Oh no, look what we did to the golf course. Oh, that's terrible, that. That's a pretty big divot. Now for the cherry on top, I slip into the old bedroom, I ring the ding-a-ling, and uh, this should get him in here, I believe. Yep, here we go. Obviously, I should have done this before I let him to the door, but because I'm an absolute moron, I, I kind of, <laughs> I left it to the last minute. There really is no safe location for me in this scenario. He, uh, he hasn't noticed all of the bombs on the door, which is good. Oh, he's noticed. He's noticed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Silvio. Down. Oh, Silvio. <laughs> Silvio, no! He's twitching. Somebody come in here immediately. He's. I think he might still be alive. I think there might still be a chance to. Somebody, quick! Send a doctor! Oh no, he. He's gone. He's not with us anymore. We lost him. We, lo we lost him. The 30 bricks of C4. They, they did it. Man, I'm here now in the so I was thinking that if I fill this airplane with explosives and then cause some catastrophic event where Silvio tries to escape. <laughs> what? Oh no, hold on, I take it back. <laughs> we can stick them on the wings. Excellent. That is actually brilliant. Matter of fact, I think this might be the greatest thing that I've ever done in any of the Hitman games ever. Now I'll stick a couple on the do <laughs> on the door as well. This is gonna crash the game. All right, Silvio, you enjoy your flight and you <laughs> and your Semtex demolition block. It's a, it's literally, it's it's a flying Semtex demolition block. All right, Silvio, here we go. Look at that. <laughs> They're levitating in midair. All right, we'll get a nice clean view of what. I don't think we're gonna be able to see. All right, fine. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's speeding up, he's speeding up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Three, two, one. See you, Silvio. <laughs> there he goes. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was fantastic. Excuse me, sir, I'm gonna need to ask you to stop. This is a routine police check. Please stop, 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 stop. Don't, don't make me, don't, don't make me get aggressive. I'm asking you to stop. 
Nope. All right, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna, you wanna do that again? Eh? I could do this all day. <laughs> As a matter of fact. <laughs> oh God. I think I will do this all day. You know what, lady? This is a routine police check. Stop. Sister, I was so tight I couldn't walk. Whoa. Whoa, lady. Nobody asked you how tight you were. What the hell? Three, two, one. Ah! Screw, screw. Ah! Detective on the job, bitch. Oh! Boom! 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 Back! 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 Throw out the gun! Oh, uh, no, not you, idiot. Ba -ba 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 Hasta la vista, baby. If there's anyone around that corner, I advise you to come out with your pants down and your hands up. It's not gonna end well for you no matter what you do, but may as well do it naked. Whoa, flamethrower guy really did a number on this too. Oh wow, looks like he might have actually been a police officer prior to- Oh! Oh! That's great. That was a $12 hat. Hey, is it just me? Is it getting really hot in here? Uh, hey, this is your central heating guy just here to, uh... Fix your central heating. <laughs> uh, hey, zombie guy. Well, you're gonna be the first one. The sacrifice for this video. The fine tune-up fight. You know, I'm gonna grab you. No. And I'm going to... Oh, I'm not as strong as I thought I was. Hold on. Uh, I can... I can do it. No, I can't. That head's really... On good. Don't worry, I'll get it. Here we go. Ugh. Yeet! Actually, hold on. Can I <laughs> hey, what the heck, bro? You just chopped off your buddy's head. That is very, very, very... Not... Nice. Incredible, not a scratch. Oh! <laughs> Try and slap me. Stop it. I'll cut that arm off. I'll... C I will. Come here. Come here. Give me... Give me that. Give me the bloody arm, you little... You try and slap me, that's what happens. Alright, pal. We're gonna, um... Try a little... <laughs> Goodness me. Come on, pal. Have a swing. Oh! You just got... Disarmed. For real. Now we fight. Man to man. Oh, I probably shouldn't have eaten that. I think... <laughs> <laughs> I think I got Ligma. And now that that's out of the way, it's time to take on the chapter one boss. He lived and died so long ago. Oh, he died. All right. And you expect me to take this guy seriously, do you? Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Yeah, that's right. And you stay down. And you stay down and you don't get back up. You stay on the ground where you belong, you dirty man. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, being a little b You need to have a long, hard think about what you've done. Look at me. When I talk to you. What have you done? What have you- <laughs> What have you done to Terry? You bastard. Come here. Drink. Drink everything. Clean the shelves. This is your punishment. Come on. Down here too. Alright. You did a good job, mate. I'm proud of you. Have some wine. Oh, you, you want- You want some more? Have, have this. How do I put these in? This is horror. Is this, is this even for this? I don't understand. I don't understand. Ah, there we go. Okay, I got one. I'll just stuff it in there. Now let's test this out together, chappy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my noble steed. <clears throat> Sorry. You're a good horse. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, the, uh, the guillotine's free if you want to come down and have a lay down and, you know. Go on, get your bloody. What, you, you're too good? Too good for the guillotine? Get. Get in there. Okay. Off with his head! <laughs> Always wanted to say that. Say hello. <laughs> to my little friend. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Did I just kill one of the bosses? You wanna try this too? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Oh, this is awful. Well, you know, I didn't think it was gonna be this easy. Alright, let's try this too. Come on. Oh, he's still alive. Not for long though. <laughs> <laughs> he's still, he's hanging in there. This guy's got grit. Oh no, I think I don't got bullets. Oh. <laughs> All right, these helmets, man. Strong bloody things they are. Oh, frick. <laughs> I think I spoke a little bit too soon. Wow, popped it like a melon. All right, it is time to go back to my ninjutsu roots. Come at me, bro. Oh. 
No more shooting for you. Come, join me on the bridge. Could you just not make such a mess, please? It's disgusting. It's very unhygienic. All right, you know what? Hand to hand combat. <laughs> Those guts look ready to pop open. Just bear with me for a second. This'll do it. Nice big swing. Uh oh, you just got disembowered. Oh, that's terrible. Give me an upper. You know what they say? One of these keeps the doctor away. You should probably have eaten a few more of those because you look terrible. Ready? Aim. Oh, you look even worse than before. Not today. Not too. Ready? For a morbidly obese man with his guts hanging out on the floor, one arm and two ginormous boobes, you are doing very well. I am proud at you. No. Who's the other arm? Oh. Fresh meat. Practice makes perfect. Uh, where is that voice coming from? Hold on a second. You wouldn't be the dead. Oh, hold on. Isn't there, isn't there meant to be a dead guy sitting in that chair? Oh, right. Okay. I need to fight all the guys that I've. Oh, goodness. Oh, he's tough this time around. Gotta be getting close now. Come on. Oh. Okay. Now for you. And you. Where's the green one? We're just skipping the green one, are we? That's fair. Oh, you're coming in a little bit later, are you? Fashionably late. Like fashionably dead. And now I guess it's time. Prepare to die, sucker. No, you prepare to die, sucker. You seem to be struggling to come up with a response for these explosive arrows, and I don't. Ooh, I don't blame you. You're pretty tough, though, bro. You're pretty tough, though, bro. <laughs> Alright, Bob, I just want you to know that you are in good hands. But I got a feeling that today's operation is going to go well. It's a heart transplant, meaning that I need to remove the heart. We can we'll just listen very carefully. Oh, I can't hear it very well. I'll just pop this on the old ear. Oh, there we go. Hear that? It sounds like it's functioning pretty well. I <laughs> don't know why I'm removing it, but uh, I don't ask any questions. I just... Remove rib cages, and then pretend that my patient is Bane. I was born in the darkness, Batman. Now, Bob, I'm just going to take these out momentarily. I don't think you'll be needing them, but I think we can probably use these to give you some... <laughs> some cute old Dumbo ears. Look at you. You look great. So, we got that thing, that thing, and that's the heart right there. Now, I don't know what this is. Oh. And I guess I'm never gonna know. What in the world is this? All right, Bob, we'll just pop that right there for now. Just hold on to that. Oh. Oh, that's grotty. What, why is it... Boo. Bob, this is... This is gross, Bob. <laughs> now, this heart... I think this is the replacement right here. Um, let me just... <sighs> oh! Balls! Five second rule. Five, five second rule. <sighs> Bob. Your new heart sounds like... It's full of sand. What are, what are we doing? I've completely forgotten. What are we replacing to- Oh, oh yep, yeah, two new kidneys. Alright, that's fine. Ooh. Nope. Oh, god. Gosh. One of them disappeared, Bob. <coughs> You're gonna feel like a new man. Look at this. A whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. It's fine. Alright, I'll just I'll stuff one in there. Oh, he swallowed it. Bog. That was very strange, Bob. That was very strange indeed. I'm going to just- Give you a little whack, just... Oh. Now let's see if this time around we can get... Oh. You don't deserve new teeth. What if I told you there was a mod that is even more random than the Hitman 2 randomizer mod? <laughs> and that's a little something called the Chaos Mod. So, uh, I think it's about time that we turn that bad boy on. <laughs> <laughs> a Bluetooth headset, a tie, and the ability to fall through the ground repeatedly. Life is good. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Well, thank god that uh, the Chaos Mod decided to flip gravity. I was having a couple of problems, you know, not falling through the ground, but now that doesn't seem to be a problem anymore. Let's just hope that I don't continue to go up indefinitely, because, uh, you know, what goes up must eventually come down. And I'm pretty high right now, so I, uh... I <laughs> oh god, the gravity. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Did I just... Oh god! What in the... I'll just teleport everything to play it casually. <laughs> Come on, let's get in the cars. We've got a heist to do. You just, uh... You, what? What? Oh my god, what? Oh, is this... Oh, this is because I'm famous. Well... Stupid motherfucker! <laughs> famous for what? Must have been something absolutely terrible because everyone's trying to kill me now. Wait, hold on. Spawn companion Bra Brad? Oh god, who... 
<laughs> Brad, is that you? I don't know how I feel about Brad. I'm not not really a big big fan. You want me to shove mine up your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I like Brad now. Come on. Alright, I'm breathing. In and out. Oh god, oh no. Oh. <laughs> the mercenaries have turned up. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. You may surprise you. Yeah, lady, I might surprise you. You don't know what to ex- <laughs> Mike. Would you? Would I what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I set your shoes on. I'm sorry. I, I, I seem to. Oh. Oh dear. I think I've gone to Fort Zancudo. <laughs> My wife is on fire. <laughs> oh no. Glad we decided to do yoga today, guys. It was, uh, it was, it was great. <laughs> oh, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, and I'm still hitting them poses. Wow! <laughs> tell me you don't feel centered. I mean, I could tell you that, but, um, but... <laughs> I'd be lying. Let it out! You're turning red! Hello, gentlemen. I'd just like to commend you on that, uh, bootylicious backside you've got there. Mind giving a little bit of a clap? Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Yeah, bro, I, I'm I'm as confused and shocked as you are. I've got no idea where the hell that's coming from or why it's... Oh, oh God, it's hot. Very hot. <laughs> so I'll wager that I've got to figure out a way to get this dude directly underneath this boiling hot liquid. I'll take this back with me, and now I'll try to re-enter with it. Uh-oh, that was probably not the best idea in the world. Oh, wait, nice butt, bro. All right, don't look this way. You just keep doing what you're doing. Nobody's here. Nobody's stealing your ginormous security gun hat. Looks better on me than it ever looked on you. So I'll give this a turn this way, and I think... Oh, my bad. I created a kangaroo with a ginormous boner. All right, everybody, just hear me out. I know you got really angry last time when I took your CD out. I know you all wanted to kill me, but just... I brought something that I think you're gonna like way more. Just give it a chance. Here we go. <laughs> so I've got... I got my... I got my pepper spray. I love this stuff. I've got a couple of flashbangers and, um, of course, the standard issue Desert Eagle and an M1. This is the most standard issue as it gets, actually. You know, I think I might just pop everyone through the window. FBI. Open up. He should have opened up. <laughs> his soul's trying to escape his body. Oh, so's that guy. <laughs> Put your hands up. Pull your pants down. Not you. Keep keep your pants on. I am going to need to uh, zip tie your hands behind your back. It's Ouch! Listen, have you seen the guys out? This is ouch out here. You're doing all right. Please help. Oh, I think I think you're a little bit beyond help, buddy. Check this out. X gonna. Oh! <laughs> I think I blew his heart out his back. Whoa! You can say that again. You can also say goodbye to your kidney. You can say goodbye to your. Ooh! On okay. the ground, now! Frick, man. You trying to die or what? Oh, there's someone behind the truck. I'm gonna rush him. FBI, open- Oh. That- That is- That is not the way you want to go down. FBI, open up! Hands up, hands down! <laughs> He's trying to escape! Yo! Put- Put it down. Hands in the air! Put- Put your hands On in the, the air like you now. just don't care, or hands I will- I will blast you into the next dimension. I will blast you into the 3D realm, boy. I'll kill you. Oh, don't. What did you say to me? What did you say? You know what? <gasps> oh. oh! I think I just killed him on that. Oh. Oh. Alright, Mohawk McGee, can you- <laughs> Just chill, chill, chill. Get down on the ground now, I will shoot you- On the ground, now! Yeah, on the ground, now. This is the police! Get down on the ground, now! Yeah, how many times do I have to tell you to get down on the ground now? This- this is the police. In case you didn't already realize. This is the police. This is... Pretty normal. In America. Let the hostage go. Let him go. Let him go. He's a good man. He's... He's a good man with an orange shirt. Don't you dare. This is the police. Just put this on, please. Yeah, but... I'm not... Uh... Huh? Do you have any idea who I am? I'm so bad, I... I use this stuff as breath spray. You know what? Stuff it. FBI! Whoa! What the this world? Why are there so many people in here? What's going on in the... Three dudes in a bedroom? This is... Well, four now. This is not the kind of party I... No. Can't believe it! I, I can't either. You guys... 
Yeah, it's crazy. Seems like a bunch of bad dudes have come in and started shooting up the place. So now a good dude's going to come in and start shooting up the place. Listen, guys, I'm going to I'm going to get a need you to get down on the ground now. Come on, do it, do it, good man. You too. Are you are you you're an Olympic athlete? Is that you're a gold medalist? Oh, sick. That's that's dope. What what's your sport? Shot put. Boom. I'm like shot pe. All right, now if I wasn't bleeding out and I couldn't hear my heartbeat literally beating outside of my chest. I'd probably be able to hear what was going on in this room, but because I can't, I'm just gonna pop and rush. Three, two, one. FBI, open up! Everybody, get! Whoa! What the? Why are there so many dudes in here? What in the world? All right, you're look, you're very well behaved, gentlemen. You two, you're a good man. Okay, no, you're not. You're a horrible man. Oh, now this is tragic. This guy tried to defend his office. Look at that. Tried to defend it with a double barrel shotgun and somehow he managed to completely snap his neck. Alright, I'm pretty sure this- Yep, yeah, this is- Oof! There's someone inside of the fridge! What? Yo! Ooh! Flip! Dude. Dude, dude, dude! Get down! Hands in the air! Get down, you- You can get yourself killed, son. Get down, get down. I will shoot. I will shoot. I will shoot. Don't make me remind you of what my philosophy is. It's shoot first, ask police? questions later. Ooh. Get down on the ground oh, now. crap! Oh, getting shot at! Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's it, no more mister. Where's the gun? Oh, that's it, that's a lockpick! That's a lockpick, get out, get out! Here, here. Oh, bollocks! Alright, let's try this again into the freezer. Yo, 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 yo. I can see him, pal. Okay. Yo, put it down, put it down, bro. Up, oh, pal. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Stop shoot, stop, stop shooting your gun. Uh. Okay, that's one tango down. Alright, taking cover behind the shelves. Yo, there's one right there. Alright, Tango down. Last one. <laughs> By the book cop. <laughs> hey, I guess in America it might be. I'm feeling so good, I'm gonna punch my horse in the face. <laughs> Yeehaw! Let's get a drink. I need a drink after all this dying. Absolutely. In here? Yo! Oh, I love this song. Oh shit. That's that new Justin's Beaver. Justin's Beaver, yeah! Yay! Yeah. 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 I won't dance. Well, you gotta kick your legs like this. Yeah! 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 That's it. That's how you do it. You just gotta kick. <laughs> you gotta kick. You gotta turn. Just keep playing, partner. He, he don't want to play. I think I upset him. You know what I love even more than drinking these drinks? Uh, what's that? Throwing bottles on the floor. <laughs> Does she pass the durability test? Well, I know I do. I know you do. You handsome devil. Do you pass the test? I always pass the test. Well, I want to find out. Oh, shit! Oh, my goodness. Not the track tracks. Uh, uh. Bet you never felt like this before. Getting the Earth's energy through your... Oh, shit. Where are you? <laughs> it's your time. Your test. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Yeah, yep. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that oil, that's rich. Oh. How do you feel? I don't know how I feel, but I look like a million bucks. Come on, you need a mouthful of this, sludge. <coughs> Take it, you dirty boy. Take it. It's in every orifice. Looking good, brother. Looking good. Well, I'd say you're looking better. You're looking, your skin's got a natural glow. Thank you. Healthy. Pregnant. You're, you're, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I just feel like just thinking about things. In this town, you don't get much time to just stop and think. That's true. For a little bit. That's true. I just like to think about how my Mima she used to tell. Come over here, brother. I found some. I found some evidence. You found a Harriet? No, I didn't find Harriet. I found, I found evidence. Where are you? Come here. I'm with the evidence. All right, here I come. Okay. <laughs> I just heard a loud scream in the distance, <laughs> and now you're not on my map anymore. Where the shit is Harriet? Harriet. Oh my god. Everybody be swapping left on Harriet. Oh look, piece of pizza. That's some good looking pizza. I like my pizza thick. I like my pizza with no toppings on it. <laughs> no no toppings whatsoever. I feel like jumping through the window. Oh my god. <laughs> Brother! Get up! Is that me? Come on, you're coming with me! Holy shit, it's a doppelgangbanger! Come on, brother, we're gonna get you back. We're gonna make you safe. What? That? You'll be alright. What? Can you see me? Can you- Wait, wait, I'm alive! Come on, brother, let's go! I'm gonna bring you back to life! That ain't me, that's my doppelgangbanger! I'm gonna get you back. Don't you worry about it. Oh, shit. Oh, brother, I wish you were here. <laughs> I'm right here, brother. I miss you, brother. Hold on, brother. Someone behind me is really getting in my face. Hey, you! Hey, what? Back off! What? What? I need to look after my brother here! Oh shit, there's a train coming. Brother? I can't believe that this is- I can't believe I'm watching this right now. <laughs> Rest in peace, brother. 
You were good, brother. Owl's the best, brother. Come on, we got to walk. We What do you say to me? You learned your lesson? I don't think he has. I don't think he has either. There's two guys behind us. It's just riding off. <laughs> we didn't see nothing. That's what you get. I ain't done yet. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, join in. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> That's right. Make an example. Oh, it's dinner. Of course. What? Uh, can I help you? No. Rat poison, rat poison, rat poison, meat cleaver, rat poison. What about back here? We got any rat? Oh, banana. Boom, 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 boom. Hey! I don't like your face. Boom, 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 boom. You! Yes. <laughs> well, this is a fun one. I love trolling this guy. He's got a fish in his, in his bucket. Big floppy fish. Hey, pal. You, uh... Hey, dude. Yes. You like fish? In your ass? I said you like fish in your ass. Huh. Holy... Help! Eh. Help! Eh. Help! No, come back. Help! No. Help! Could I please get you to cooperate, please? Just, you know, follow me into that bush over there. Just give you a nice shoulder rub. Really want to... Give you a shot. Really, really give you a shoulder rub. Easy, man. Really want to give you a shot. That's all. All right. Looks like the perfect opportunity is presenting itself. Time to go missing in the bush. How do I use it? Huh? Sorry. Just, sorry. Stethoscope. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, watch it. I'm sorry. I don't know how to use this, bro. Oh. Damn it. Damn it. What, what was that? Welcome to Haven Island. Oh, please uh, connect your key to the private hotel. Why do I want to punch okay, everyone I see? <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Reaper. I hope you enjoy. Oh, God. <laughs> My hand is stuck. Huh? Huh? Hey, easy now, big boy. <laughs> wow. I don't like know that? you. I'm all up inside of you now, big boy. Give me the key, lady. Give me the key. I gotta I got check in quickly. Quick, 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 before I punch anyone else. Give me the, give me the goddamn key. I can't control myself. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Gotta go. Mr. Reaper. Yes. Nice to finally put a face to the name. Get a selfie together, huh? Say, jeez. That's a, uh, ooh, nice tongue you got. Oh god, jeez. You know what? I'm not so interested anymore. You just... Keep going. All right, so what do we got here? We've got disguise in swimwear. Oh, I feel like I'm in holiday mode already. And we all know what I like to do in holiday mode. Ooh, I thought that was a banana on my... <laughs> <laughs> I thought they left a banana on my pillow. I was like, you know me too well. All right, well, now I gotta head to the restaurant to meet Miss Vitrova as Mr. Reaper. And honestly, dressed like this, I look a little bit more like Mr. Reaper. You get a really small torso. Mr. Reaper. Yeah, you already said that. You get a really small torso. It's tiny. Mr. Reaper. Yes, I, I heard you. This Mr. Is Reaper. Yeah, yes. What? Mr. Reaper. Oh, God, kill me now. Isn't this embarrassing? What, what's wrong with her? Did she hit her head this morning or what? What's the problem? Mr. Reaper. You know what? You know what? Don't, don't worry about it, lady. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm going to go and drown myself in the ocean. Goodbye, cruel world. Ooh. Uh! Oh! All right. So now I need to infiltrate the villa. Good thing I know exactly how to... Ooh. Is that, is that a treasure map? You Ooh. It's got a treasure map. Nobody's looking. Whoa! I obviously had nothing to... <laughs> Gone on, butler. I'm a doctor. Yes, well, <laughs> I guessed as much. Please wait here, doctor. I'm sure Mr. Williams will be along. Sh Shut up. All right, Alfred, you stay in there and be a good Alfred. Oh, God. It's fat Leonardo DiCaprio. Ew. You're kind of... Kind of gross, bro. Oh, you are quite the specimen. You look like a piece of moldy bread. Okay, well, uh, I hate to break it to you, but um, you're going to die today. But first, just cough in my face. <coughs> Great. Can't you do anything to strangle this cough, Doc? That's funny you should say that. I had a different thing in mind, though. I was thinking um, modern lethal syringe in the anus. <coughs> Oh, wow, look at you on that heavy bag. You are, you are the man. Oh, snap. How do I be like you? Show me how to do it. <laughs> uh. Well, I guess it's time to crack out the old sniper rifle and shoot a couple of men in the testicles. Hold up, I'm going to get this one right here. I knew I shouldn't have ordered this sniper rifle off a wish. All right, to prove just how good I actually am, I'm going to snipe this guy with a shotgun. Hold up, wait for it. 
<laughs> Headshot. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Told you I was good. Ah, my dog's licking my feet. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Please. Oi. You know, I always say that revenge is a dish best served with a bullet that goes right through the middle of both testicles. Oh. <laughs> Not Mateo, why? Why, Mateo? Mateo, why you do this to me? Why you do this to me? Why you do this to me? I thought we were friends. <laughs> so my journey began the same way that all great journeys do, with me standing in a futuristic public toilet spewing my guts up. And to be honest, I was having an absolute blast. That is until Elon Musk walked in and gave me that look. Anyway, my boss called me to his office, so I stopped spewing, said hello to Buddhist Cyclops, and rode the elevator to the top floor of our 69-story building. Before heading into my meeting, though, I made sure that the bottoms of my shoes were clean by scraping them on the furniture and heads of everyone I came in contact with, and then headed on in just in time to witness the futuristic United Nations meeting take place. Or just the fun meeting for short. And boy, oh boy, was it fun, all right? My boss poured himself a glass of vintage alien cum, but didn't offer me any, so I jumped on the table and stomped all over his glasses like it was my bar mitzvah, which surprisingly pleased him enough to grant me the Nobel Peace Prize, aka a USB stick with nudes of all the local MILFs in my area. He then gave me a fat wad of cash that he said was to be used for nothing but crack cocaine. And with that, I headed back to my office where, fortunately, inside of my desk drawer, I had a Ventolin inhaler already full of crack cocaine. So I invested the money into Tidal Pods instead. Kiss my dad's bunk! Sorry, what? Kiss your dad's bunk? Jackie picked me up and suggested we buy a new car. We got this bad boy at a really good discount. And the only thing it didn't come with were the textures. And with that, it was time for my first real job after losing my actual job at Tesla for vomiting in front of Elon Musk. Obviously, the first thing I did was invade a homeless man's sleeping quarters where I found the legendary Pilomancer 3000 that legends have spoken of for millennia. They say it'll make you feel like a new man. Oh God, it's the Norman Reedus twins. <laughs> <laughs> they've lost their legs. <laughs> Somebody help me! After that, I headed to the Venice Beach of Night City, where I had one goal and one goal only. And that goal was to beat the living shit out of people with sloppy lifting form like this douchebag right here. Please don't. Call the cops! Te reto a que lo hagas otra vez. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> At this point, my robo legs were getting pretty tired of running, so I attempted to summon my vehicle for the very first time. And as you can see right here, that went totally according to plan. Just mind your business, okay? <laughs> After a whole bunch of aimless gallivanting around Night City, I finally made my way to a secret underground fight club that was neither secret nor underground. It was at that sacred location that I had the blessed opportunity of brutally murdering the same guy twice with my bare hands. It was great! And something I highly recommend other families of the future do on their next vacation. After that, I treated my samurai sword to some more softcore <laughs> then headed to the local Japanese gangster bar to chop some guy's head off. Cheese. Now I've seen some shit, but let me tell you right now that nothing prepares you for the insanity that is the everyday norm in Night City. Like some random guy with no pants asking you for a lift to the Ripper dock because his dick is on fire. Regardless, I obliged, but decided to make a very brief stop along the way to kill a couple of naughty men for being naughty. You're in deep <laughs> Oh god. I'm terrified. Oh no, no, no. Is this, is this meant to be ha- Oh. Oh my. <laughs> You're in deep <laughs> I don't know about that, buddy. Also, why are you dropping all of these guns all over the place? What the hell? <laughs> Look at all this loot! <laughs> oh, isn't this sweet? Everywhere I go, my friend goes with me. You can be alright, huh? You'll see Misty, your mom, everyone you love. <sighs> Misty, I know. She always knew. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> you know, they say that in an emergency, like a cave-in or something, you just gotta make a couple of gentle taps and see if anyone taps back. Oh! Hillary? <laughs> Hillary, is that... Is that you? Alright, yeah, Ronald McDonald is also down here as well. Seems like the intel was 100% on point. And, oh, is that... 
Oh, that's Joe. How you going, Joe? I got hairy legs that turn <laughs> that, 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 that turn uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun. Good old PSVR. Am I right? Stop that right now. <laughs> What the hell was that? I think I'm gonna follow a couple of mission stories to take down the targets inside of the building, which is right over there. Oh, that's right, I can't use my hands. Stupid PSVR. Hey, are you alright, buddy? No, he's definitely not fine. I'm gonna have to put him out of his misery. He wouldn't have made it anyway. All right, mate, come on. We're going to sacrifice you to the ocean gods. All right, ocean gods, I know you're probably hungry. I got a delicious one for you. You ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, f just punch the ceiling. Shit. Oh well, hope you're happy, Ocean Gods. I just put a hole on the roof. Well, Hitman VR, we're off to a great start. Are you alright? He had accident. He had accident. He's uh injured his face. You're not okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I know I can. <laughs> it's so tempting. It's so tempting. <laughs> Must not strangle. Must. Must. No offense, mister, but could you please back off a little? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> oh god. Now all that's left to do is to head up to the top floor, ring the doorbell, and deliver this guy's brand new kitchen knife. Hi, this is your brand new kitchen knife. Sorry, wrong address. Unless that's my icon. <laughs> Okay, I will uh, cook the tomato sauce. Um, uh, it's uh, my specialty. Vaffanculo testa di cazzo tua mamma. Oh, a little bit too late. S poo. Wonder if I sneak up here and just. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. A gardener guy works over for the day. Now I'll just drag you over here and uh, test out this new. Flesh ripper that we've got. Oh, what the <laughs> shred! Oh, da, 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 I'm just having a shower. Da, 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 that's disgusting. Unfortunately for me, though, as soon as I got into the back lot, Seth Rollins rocked up and elbowed me right in the barcode. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Then he and his bros literally tried to murder me by throwing me off a two-story piece of scaffolding. But then this happened. <laughs> Nani? Doopsie doopsie. I guess I'll be seeing you in the ring, Seth Rollins, for the WWE Championship belt. Sign the contract right now, you little... <laughs> but then, the greatest surprise in WWE history. Mostly because everybody could hear the footsteps, but nobody could, <laughs> could see where they were coming from. John Cena rocked up and said that he wanted my belt. I'm sorry, John Cena, but you can't have it. <laughs> You can have this instead, though. Now, rumor has it that Mr. Giggles from the Wiggles is meeting with a French businessman, and there's only one French businessman that I know in the Marrakesh nighttime markets, and it's this gentleman. <gasps> Lamp. Why does this happen every time? You stupid old man. <laughs> he obviously hasn't looked at the mirror recently. Anyway, because you are a very uncompassionate, uh, cruel individual, I think. I mean, I, I, I foresee. You know, let, let me just let me just break it down for you real quick, mate. I uh, used to be a fortune teller and I see into the future, and I predict that you're gonna get a wrench. You're gonna wrench in the back of the head. <laughs> Thanks, I just needed to let it out. <laughs> you know what, I know what's gonna cheer you up here. Hmm. Have- Stop just out. <laughs> I've noticed that my guests Have are not day. properly taken care of. That's why she's upset, because this guy's being a bully. All right, well, this guy isn't the target, but he is now. Hello. Josie! Now, I do recall that at some point, Mr. Mendola is going to head to the local fortune teller. This guy, unfortunately, is a sham. He doesn't really have the powers that I have. Now, I'm going to need to find a way to become a fortune teller, and I think the best way to do that is probably to come over here and shut the show down. Oh, no, somebody's turned off his lights. That's terrible. I think I think they, they, were this, they went this way. One broken fuse box. I want to know when she's going to die. And how? Yes. Obviously, by looking at this head right here, you can tell that we're dealing with a very, very powerful, masculine leader of the 
modern world at the time. So let's give him a ding dong. And, oh, no, 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 no. You, sir, were never, ever, ever meant to have hair, nor were you ever, ever, ever meant to have a beard. After all, you are the medieval hitman whose parents and grandparents and great grandparents were probably all related by blood. And uh, we'll also give him a couple of other traits, which I believe are favorable, like giantism. Or is that gigantism? I don't, I don't really care. We'll, we'll make him albino and I promised a lizard man, so we'll give him the scaly trait. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's a good looking man. So I shall find myself a grand wife, a wife that uh, uh, <laughs> with very low standards. Now we need to choose a lifestyle focus for Agentius Hitmanius. And because he has an education in intrigue, I guess we're going to go with intrigue just so I can put one point into like weeds in a garden, which grants me an additional 30% fertility, allowing me to spread my royal oats far and wide and... <laughs> to create many more of the perfect man. So we'll select Temptation Focus, which gives us another 20% fertility. A great way to get started. One debt to society later. Oh yeah, so remember a while ago how I seduced the princess that had all of those land claims and who I made my jester and whatever else. Anyway, we had a kid now. She wants me to keep it a secret, but the world will know of my child. Actually, I'm pretty sure the world knows about all my children. I I've currently got 10 of them all with different women and uh, they're, they're all extremely... Uh, unique looking children. This one's a genius. This one's got Herculean strength. This one's just a giant albino. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. All right, so my one-year-old son is apparently being condemned for his wicked faith. <laughs> what? My failure to condemn and continued proximity to my horrible kid is perceived as open tolerance, tarnishing my court's reputation in the eyes of the clergy and the faith. Hold on. What is this guy's religion? Oh no, my kid is a Catholic. <laughs> I cannot host you anymore, so <laughs> what am I gonna do? Kick my one-year-old son out. Come off it, family first, bro. <laughs> oh no. Oh gosh. I'm pretty sure this isn't supposed to happen. Oh, there we go. Back in the chair. Woo, that was a trip. Oh wow, look at what my son has become. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. Nevertheless, I guess it's time to find this monstrosity a wife. I wish you to. <laughs> I wish you to all the best. Oh, what? She's not my court jester anymore. <laughs> no. My first lesson was on how to clown your opponent and make them first hate you, but eventually hate themselves. You do this by laying on top of them and slapping them in the face repeatedly, pretending to get back up, then bomb diving your crotch back onto theirs and slapping them in the face some more. You can do this ad infinitum until they die. And with that out of the way, it was time for my first proper and legal cage match, where I kicked my opponent repeatedly in the shin until his leg snapped in half and the fight was called off. Guess you could say he was as useless as a one-legged man in an ass kicking contest because he had one leg. In my next fight, I decided to be a little more technical and mixed everything that I'd learned from my Muay Thai training with my wrestling training and turning a 3D face into a 2D stain on the octagon canvas training. Needless to say, after this one, my opponent would never ever be fighting again. Having won with such a dominant performance, I returned to the gym to hug my training partner on the floor for a while. And seeing as how I was obviously the next big thing in MMA, my coach invited UFC CEO Dana White to come and watch my next illegal cage fight where I'd been promised a first class one way ticket right into Dana White's contender series, and all I needed to do was kill a man. The fight started with me tricking my opponent into thinking I was actually a wiggly worm and not a world class MMA fighter in order to make him let his guard down. Then once I'd convinced him that I was nothing more than a piece of spaghetti with a soul, I got him in the Muay Thai clinch and kneed him in the face repeatedly until his forehead became his back head and then finished off my masterpiece with a one-two high kick that flatlined him right in front of Uncle Dana, where I noticed for the first time that he actually had sausages for fingers. And just like that, I was in Dana White's Contender Series. The first thing I did was call in some random Chinese bloke to teach me how to kick people in the head for the very reasonable price of $22,500. It was alright though, because part of the deal involved him standing there like an absolute moron while I repeatedly landed these newly acquired vicious spinning sidekicks to his head over and over again. 
he's dead now. I entered the UFC ranked number seven in the middleweight division. Not a long road to go to get to the belt at all. But first I need to take down this rank 11 bozo who I was determined to buff in the head repeatedly until his facial features moved even further down his face. Preferably until all of them were on his chin. I got old Edmund in the Muay Thai clinch and kneed him in the mouth until his teeth turned into Tic Tacs. Elbowed him in the face until he swallowed them all. Landed a sweet spinning kick that sent his soul out of the arena. And then went for a cheeky one-two feint to make him slip to the right where I kicked him so hard in the head that his brain flew out his left ear and hit Uncle Dana right in the face. <laughs> Let's just watch that again from three different angles. He's never going to be the same after that. I knew that if I wanted to continue plowing through the middleweight division like an absolute prawn star, I'd need some more spinny kicky things. So I paid $80,000 to Stephen Wonderboy Thompson to teach me some more spinny kicky things. Fortunately, my opponent MC Steroids didn't seem to have an answer to that particular attack and just let me do it ad nauseum until I was finally ready to kick him in the face and send him to the afterlife. Anyway, it should come as no surprise to anybody that with a massively long chain of nothing but back-to-back -back wins all by vicious knockouts, out, I skipped the queue entirely and went straight to the title shot where for some strange reason Kelvin Gastelum held the belt. But before going to kill a man in front of millions of people on live television, my coach came into the back room to give me a bit of a pep talk where he said stuff like, don't lose, you have some really stupid tattoos and I'm actually your father and I hate you. We then bumped fists and got ready to go to work. Now according to the game, this guy was both a world class wrestler and had an eye in chin which to me sounded like they doubted I could beat him on the ground or on the feet. Guess they were wrong. Oopsie doopsie. And just like that, I was the UFC middleweight champ. Now give me the belt, Uncle Dana, you bald f So now that I am a bazillionaire, I feel like I should probably drink some green juice, you know, just to uh, increase my longevity so that I, <laughs> I can live long enough to enjoy these dollary doos. Mmm, I love this. It's really good. Mmm, oh, yeah. Then I'll just wash it down with a little bit of red juice. All right, so maybe I had just a little... <gasps> little bit too much. It's fine though, because I drive better when I'm drunk. They see me rolling, they're hating. You know what, this car sucks, stupid pink car. It's fine though, you know what I need? I need a new car, I need a car for men. Get moving, there's no excuse. Listen lady, shut up, I'm drunk, I'm drunk. Oh, are you a taxi? How did you know I needed a tax? Ow, my face. 3.28 a.m. Well, hello there, feller. Why don't you have yourself a microphone? Trying to steal my base, aren't you, Benny? But you've got friends in the bushes, don't you? Sorry, don't, don't want to stay open. It's broken. Hello? Oh, hold on, what, 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 no, I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't say you could come inside, Benny. Well, now, here we are. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> Benny's face looks like it's glued to his head. <laughs> I guess Benny's coming. Come on, Benny. Come on, welcome in. Well, welcome inside. He's gone through my boxes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Cough it up. Cough it up. That's right. Tribute. Tribute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he took, are they mine? All right, Benny, we've got a deal. I don't think Benny can hear me. <laughs> oh, dear. Can you hear me now? Yes, Benny, I can hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> Eight hours later. All right, Benny, you've been here all night. It's it's, it's time to go now. I, you know, I've got I got things to do. I got, I got a forage and, you know, get the wood and the stone to pay for the upkeep. Otherwise, this place just it doesn't, it doesn't pay itself, mate. Can you talk now? What? Benny. <laughs> he doesn't even know his own name. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. I'm glad that that's over. Strange fellow, this one. So long. See you later, Benny. It's, it's been real. <laughs> real weird. Six months later. Wait, hold on a second. Somebody, somebody's just set up camp directly in front of my base. What in the world? All right, I'm ready. Oh, oh, it's Benny. <laughs> Benny. <laughs> What are you doing? Get the frick out of me. <laughs> Is anybody home? This, oh, what the hell? The door's closing and it's... What the frack? Also, what kind of absolutely incompetent imbecile ghost hunter brings brings this frickin' torch to this house? What the, what the hell is this? Alright, this is my other... Oh god, it's... <laughs> 
It's a gram stain finder. Well, at least I'll know if the ghost has been having a good time or not. Honestly, nothing looks particularly out of the ordinary besides the 800 year old books on the bookshelf and uh, the crack pipe under the sofa. Mr. Ghost, I've been told that you are hanging out in the kitchen and um, I just want to talk. We've received a complaint that you're eating all of the pancakes and the owner of this house doesn't like it. I'm just going to take this because I feel like this probably shouldn't be on the counter right now. <laughs> don't can try anything. Okay, ghost. Where are you? Nothing detected. How old are you? What the f- Can we get the lights on in here, please? This is scaring the, the- I mean, this is hard to see in my book. Spirit box, ghost writing, and freezing temperatures. That sounds about right. A demon is one of the worst ghosts- Get the f out of here. All right, mate. Thank you. Have a great day.